The department will be providing an update on TBI numbers later today, but I'd like to stress that we take this issue very seriously. DOD is a leading contributor in the treatment and research of brain-related trauma. We do everything we can to identify, treat, and help our service members recover and return to duty. But that is, uh, you know, as Army Secretary, I'm, I'm sure the Chairman will recall when he was... I think the reporting was accurate. Uh, at that time, as reported, there were no casualties, uh, as, as, as the Chairman just defined it. I think, again, over time, you learn things and you, 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 you get reports. And as we predicted when the first reports came in several days later, that there would likely be more and more, because I think these things, the TBI manifests itself over time. So uh, I think we did our best to report no casualties, and I still believe that there were, uh, that morning, there were no casualties reported. Uh, thanks, Secretary. I don't have an opening statement, but before we get to questions, I want to... We are still learning. There's a lot more to be learned about these injuries. We're putting a lot of money into research. Uh, it affects us not just on the battlefield, but look, our, our service members get hurt during training as well. Making or from trying to make with regard to U.S. personnel in, for example, Vietnam or... The diagnosis we have so far for all of the, all of the uh, folks that have been diagnosed to date is mild traumatic brain injury. That's the diagnosis that's been reported to us so far. And I think we were working, spending quite a bit of time and resources to understand. We immediately test uh, within the first 24 to 48 hours, start testing people on neurological symptoms, uh, asking them questions, uh, putting them through some physical exams, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in this case, as you know, there were, there were thousands of people at the Al-Assad Air Base, those that were within uh, the distance of the, of the uh, blast. And these were, you know, 1,000 to 2,000 pound munitions that were coming in with heavy overpressure, et cetera. Uh, all of those people were screened, and we've got a certain number, and then the number is growing. And in this particular uh, case, TBI, uh, that manifests, it takes some time to manifest itself. It's not an immediate thing necessarily. Some cases it is, some cases it's not. Uh, so we continue to screen. Some of them have been evacuated to Europe. Uh, some have been evacuated back to the United States. So uh, there's, a, there's a layered approach to this. Uh, we'll continue to do that with our medical professionals. Yeah, or is that something that surprised both of you? And in this case, the reporting to date indicates mild TBI, uh, which would be in the category of not serious injured. That doesn't mean they're not injured. And it doesn't mean to the individual, uh, but in the categories uh, that we categorize wounded in action, uh, these individuals are in the NSI category at this time. Um, that's not to minimize or dismiss or anything. That's just to say that that's how we categorize casualties. In understanding what happened on the ground with General McKenzie and others, I think the reporting. Some of these injuries that right now are called mild TBI, and they're in the NSI category, that might change. Uh, these things are cumulative, too. So if you get multiple concussions, uh, that can manifest itself down the road. It could be a year, two years. Uh, so it could, what, what Bob was talking about in terms of behavioral health. So uh, this, we're early in the stage of diagnosis. We're early in the stage of therapy for these troops. Uh, we'll continue to monitor them the rest of their lives, actually, uh, and, uh, and continue to provide whatever treatment uh, is necessary. And we take great uh, pride in the fact that these are our own and, and we're going to take care of them. And I think for many people, this is a learning process, and we are, we are uh, sending teams, uh, briefers to the Hill, uh, if you will. We're going to have a conversation with many Hill staff today. Uh, I think we need to update Hill staff, members of Congress, to understand what TBI injuries are. They are, again, this is something we've come to learn about. The chairman can speak more fluently on it over the past 10, 15 years as we've seen IED attacks on our forces in Iraq and Afghanistan. So. Again, this is uh, uh, an injury we need to keep educating uh, everybody about. Uh, the Hill, you, all of you, the American people, and uh, even myself. It's a, it's, it's a learning process for many of us.